Okay, so there we go, um, Sage. The card is contract six, contract. So um, if you're dealing with contracts, find the balance, simplify your life, definitely get out of the clutter, maybe the worry that's going on in your mind. It could be a new position, a contract there, anything that is legal. It could be a work contract as well, uh, because that is a form of legality as well. But there's definite paperwork in here. It could be a court situation. Um, six is always finding the balance as well and there we we said find the balance as well so such the month of November your birthday month there's uh, a lot to do with finding balance in your life um, simplifying your life finding um, what is the right thing and using your intuition if we see this card um, she has her eyes closed and not because she's uh, in denial but to actually use her intuition here finding the balance and the truth the purity with the white here um, and it's got to do with a study as well but there's a con this card definitely says contract i'm going to read it from the book um, let's get into that Okay, and there it says partnership and legal commitment. So um, this card shows a contract in the background ready to be signed. So this could be a work situation. I'm just going to put them there so we can see them clearly. Uh, ready to be signed, indicating a committed connection of some sort. This union may be a business deal, the sale of a home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. Whatever the connection, this card is more than a casual agreement. It's usually something that requires a document that's binding, at least for the time being. The scales of justice also indicate that if a legal action is underway, it is likely to turn out in your favor. This card shines a light on, a poten on potential new opportunities, so remain aware and receptive to what may be coming your way. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What a beautiful message to receive in your birthday month. And before I go on, just to remind you that Jupiter, your ruling planet, goes... Um, on the 9th, on the 9th of November, it go till right through to the 3rd of December 2019 into your ruling sign, your first house. That's your self-worth. And it is your ruling planet. It's, it's the planet of expansion, the planet of good fortune, the planet of uh, travel. Uh, it is, it is your planet and everything. Um, how beautiful to get it in your birthday month as well, as well as the sun that will be entering in the, your solar return. So Jupiter and the sun, really awesome, awesome energies for you. And then if I have a look at Uranus, um, Uranus on the 7th of November till the 7th of March 2019, it's retrogrades back to your fifth house. And fifth house is creation, it's romance as well, it's um, creation of a new position. You might be getting a new position because that did come up here. Um, a lot of really positive stuff for you because Uranus moves every seven, seven and a half years. So from 2011, all the turmoil that you've had in your life um, would have brought through awakenings, would make you look at how much um, you've learned from then and how adaptable you've become in many ways. Um, fifth house is a house of creation, moving forward, the entrepreneur, opening your own business, getting a new position, using your mind wisely, and moving forward um, happily. So I'm going to go into your tarot read. I'm just going to pause and then get our cards out. Thank you, Sage. Okay, so I hope you can see them all. We start off with the Knight of Swords, which is your energy. Um, rushing in, um, defending what you believe in. And it's looking for something new, creation, um, position, work, a new employment. Uh, moving, there's movement, changing of home, going on a quest, getting what you want, conquering it and coming back um, with fire in your heart and creativity, enthusiasm, passion for what you believe in. And that brings us to, because of that movement and your your energy, Sage, you've got that bow and it's strung and ready and pulled to shoot the next arrow at the next goal before there's even a goal there. You're always so fast and ready, um, flying 
ahead with that fire, uh, fiery energy of yours. But that is why you achieve so much because you just don't hold back. And because of that, you've got to this situation with the Knight of Swords. So between your fire energy, which is the creation of, and bringing things about, you've also got um, the Knight of Swords. I'm not going to read these as other star signs. This is for Sag, and we're going to take it as a Sag reading and as your energies. This knight brings in clarity and he defends it as well. Clarity using cerebral energy, not just the heart and the fire and the passion. He uses his head as well, as well as his intuition with the purple there. And this is also a white horse rushing in. There's the black horse. So there's that balance, the yin and the yang. Absolutely. Finding that balance between rushing ahead with your creative thing, uh, wants and needs and desires and rushing ahead carefully and defending things in a logical, rational way, not in a chaotic way. It can also be a card saying, don't do it in a chaotic way. If the blue on the horse signifies, use your truth, speak your truth, and the truth will come through to you as well. But the dark clouds also say, not in a chaotic way. So maybe find the balance edge between uh, passion and um, having your bow perhaps strung at something that's not quite there, you know, just have that um, slow down, cool it, like the temperance card. And then what is crossing you? Your challenge. Your challenge is that you want more. You desperately want more and you it's there for you. You know there's something better for you. You're looking out with all that passion, your fire energy, that enthusiasm, that hope, that creativity. You're attracting it to you. It's not a challenge. It's saying that your ships are coming in. Your loot is there for you. If it is a position, if it is moving home, because there's movement all over here. If it is... It's coming to you. If there's a new position work-wise, it is there for you. The universe is saying it is there for you. The new dawn is rising. The waters are calmer. And it's something really abundant. Three is the expansion. In your recent past or passing, the wheel of fortune turned in your favor. It, uh, it's fate and destiny. What you've been through with Uranus, what you've learned, um, it's definitely... Fate and destiny, and it had to bring about all of this, bring these changes and saying that, yes, we go through stormy times in your life, but then we get up to the sun again, and this is the cycle of life. And normally the cycle of life is seven years, seven and a half years with Uranus. But that's in the past. That fate and destiny, 10, is the culmination of a cycle as well as at the new beginning because it's a one, the ground zero, the new start. Then we move on to what is crowning you and that is saying that you need to take the rest. And what did we say here? You need to take the rest. You need to take the break. Four of swords, lay down the thoughts that are worrying you. Um, lay it down. Those three, if they fall into your back or uh, it, it, the, it's unhealthy, it also could signify that you need to take a break, a little holiday, but you need to take the time to meditate, to rest, to find the balance of four, four legs in the ground. But this is mental energy. It's swords. So get out of your head. Relax. Instead of worrying about things, meditate over things. Find your balance, Sage. In your current situation, there's an offer coming to you that is going to be absolutely wonderful. King of Cups. It's an offer, an offer that's going to make your heart so happy. An offer of employment, an offer of a new home, because we have home here. This is movement. Offer of travel. We have um, the horses, which is movement as well. So there's an offer coming to you that brings you harmony when we see the little dove there. He's in blue and white, speaking your truth. Being honest with yourself, being in that king of cups energy, which is a king, authoritative, making a choice from your heart. And on here, he has a little fish. So it's something that has value, possibly money-wise, financially. We have calm waters here, and this is water energy. So emotionally, finding that balance, that um, level that brings you heartfelt joy as well and moving forward in an authoritative way, using strategy, being a diplomat, um, 
that is there for you. It could also signify somebody that will be in your life bringing that to you, but it is there for you. Then your inner world, Sage, is four of wands. And four of wands is commitment. Commitment, it could be the card of marriage, but it's definitely the card of celebration, commitment, and moving home as well. Because uh, you see the long um, little windy road there, the homes in the background, it's moving home where there's balance now. All four of these rods, not like the four swords that are three are behind you. One is only down, so you're still worrying. Yeah, you have all four in the ground with the circle that creates the magic and the abundance for you, celebrating. This is commitment with longevity as well. A lot of passion and enthusiasm went into this. And this is your inner world saying that there's going to be movement. Um, sale of a property possibly as well that you've been writing. There's movement. There is movement with the two horse, horses here and your ship and fate and destiny. It's about your outer world is possibly about your home because yeah again ten of cups is happy after heavy happy ever after. Ten is again the culmination of a cycle of you get the happiness, having being happy at home, happy with your family, happy with your life, but the one as well, moving in a direction that is emotionally fulfilling as well, where the emotions are calm and where you have enough to supply the need of your family in a way that makes you feel abundant and happy from within, from your heart as well. Then your hopes and your fears is the page of swords. So this is cerebral energy again. And pages normally bring you messages. So the message here is between these three. And the message here besides saying you need to meditate and rest, lay down that worry, the offer is there, it's coming to you. It's also saying that whatever contracts that you will be signing, because we have contract as well, check all the details very thoroughly. There might be something you've omitted. His sword is not up to defend. It's pointing to the ground. So check the details that they are very clear, you know, clearly make sure that everything is there. Because this can be an energy of possibly something that's missing, um, something that's overlooked. And uh, you need to check that as well. And I think, yes, Mercury also goes retrograde, which is the um, planet that rules communication and written contracts, computers, that type of thing. So definitely check uh, contracts, check contracts, find the balance, um, ask for help from someone else possibly as well to have a second look over it. But you need to check it. It is your hopes and fears and, and the universe is saying to check that. And your outcome card, and we'll clarify one more, is saying that you're walking away from things that don't serve you. Although they did bring you a lot of fulfillment uh, before, eight cups is quite a lot, you knew that something was missing. It could be an overbearing boss possibly, although you're getting the, the commitment of the position, um, the salary possibly, he... It might be overbearing and um, doesn't bring you what you want. And having the courage to turn your back on so much that you have and walk away from it because you know there's something better that is being illuminated for you. And that takes courage. And eight is the visionary, the powerhouse and moving forward. And it is victory. Beautiful, Sag. Victory with your own energy, your fire energy. Being recognized for what you have done, what you have brought to this situation. That um, although you've given so much, you're not getting anything back. It, it depresses you because he has the dark clothes. So, um, and walking away from it, then you're recognized. Absolutely. Getting the victory, receiving public recognition for what you have done. What you have brought to this, the balance, the six again, the balance as well. But it also signifies movement in a very cemented way. Um, that archway is done in stone. So something that is written in stone that has the sun on it and the moon. There's that balance for you going forward as well. So a really beautiful reading for you, Sage. And um, I'm going to give you one more oracle card as well, just to close it off. That might resonate to this. Please just give me a moment to get there. I'm blessed. It says, a circumstance or situation in your life that seems unfair. There we go with that there. Absolutely. Um, to, unfair to you may actually become 
be a blessing in disguise. A natural state of balance and justice exists in our world. The universal principle of complementary opposites known as yin and yang interwoven with the universal law of cause and effect keep all in life in perfect balance. Though frustrating, the present circumstance is steering you towards a higher purpose and what unfolds from this is a feeling of fulfillment and happiness. At present, you cannot see the blessing, so you must be patient. Something beautiful will soon manifest. Surrender any feeling of resentment or frustration and trust. All is unfolding in the most perfect way for you and those around you. Plant little seeds of love and faith now and you will reap a blessed harvest in the months to come. Beautiful. Oh, that just absolutely closes it out for us. I can't add to that. 